right? Shalom, brothers and sisters. We want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings and mercy be multiplied unto you, brothers and sisters, that are faithful uh, and diligently waiting, you know, on our deliverance. We're going to continue on from last week, um, going into the scattering and the, the prophecies concerning the scattering, of course, as you know, we we're kind of going into uh, the chart and how, you know, this is a true uh, fulfillment of Genesis 49. Focusing on who Israel is and who isn't Israel, you're actually missing on the message of the gospel because the gospel in of itself is meant to gather the scattering of Israel throughout the four corners of the earth. That means that you cannot have a carnal thinking about who you think Israel is because one, if all you're doing is looking for Israel, you're not looking for a household of faith. Right? Mm -hmm. Because all Israel doesn't have faith towards your house. Yeah. So it doesn't it has no benefit for you to worry about who is Israel and who isn't. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking mm -hmm. to see that Abraham is, is of the household of faith. faith yeah. I mean, we'll get into that too, because um, we weren't able to get into it last week. As you know, we, were, we had some dialogue with some people, you know, but that's how it happens. So we want to kind of further edify uh, that point. Because if you don't believe in what is the word and what it says about what's going to happen to Israel, there's no way you can believe in the gospel. That's right. There's no way. Because if you believe that only Israel's on this side of the world, then you, ain't got, you definitely ain't got the gospel. Right. You know, you, you're ready. You're ready to disqualify yourself from actually having, from actually having faith in what the, work, what the Lord said. So go ahead, uh, so read that curse first, so that way. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah. So that's basically what happened. Our people um, went off many times and the low side, being that he could not lie, brought his word, man. That's right. You know? You, you know, you walk it like you're talking. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's so right. that's the reason why we're under the condition that we're in. A Christian cannot believe that because they don't believe in the curses. They don't believe in that. This is said even further on when you read, it says this is going to be a, for a sign and a wonder upon our seed. For, uh, upon our seed. So that means these signs will follow them. Right. right. That's the reason why when we tell them, the reason why Christians are upset when we say that, that this fits us is because they know that if this is the case, they're through. Mm -hmm. So either you repent and get on this side and you believe in the, the gospel the right way, or that's it. So they have to hold on to that belief that there's that this is done away with and that, oh well look, those who already hey, listen. If them people over there in our land, all the Israelites, most high would be destroyed and right, would, would have been destroyed them before they even touched ground. Because mm -hmm. they wasn't even right when they went back in the land. The most high never returned our people out after captivity until we had reserved our sentence and we were in our right mind. Right, right. So how in the world are you going to throw a people over there if they're the real Israelites and they clearly not in their right mind but they're going to get back there? That don't make no sense because that doesn't match up with the scriptures. That's right. Mm -hmm. The most high never, the most high always punished us, but then he brought us back when we were humble and in our right mind and he set up proper leaders that would teach us our ways. They don't got no, if they're the real, if they don't, if they're the real Israelites, which they don't never call themselves Israelites, they would have a temple, they'd be doing sacrifices, they'd have priests, because they clearly don't believe in the New Testament, right. which, we, which, we, which we understand according to the gospel that the sacrificial law was done away with. For them, it shouldn't be done away with. So I, when you were over there, did you see them doing that? No, nah, they weren't doing that, man. Can you see the old, the old mm. priest? Is nah. there an Aaronic line? Can you go meet the high priest you somewhere? Can't, you can't meet no... It, you don't exist. It don't exist, man. Okay. It don't exist at all. So oh. that's why we have to understand these scriptures, man. we got to believe and trust and have faith in his word. Right. Uh, go ahead and read that 64. This is Deuteronomy chapter 20, chapter 28, verse 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Mm -hmm. Which our people did, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Our people don't want to admit that because, you know, like we are talking about earlier, Israel's like on some, oh, we're you on know, some super duper prideful stuff. Oh, we're Israel, all the other nations. And it's like, bro, you underestimate not only what, what our ancestors did, uh -huh. but what your enemy is capable of doing yep. to you. Right, right. You want to say something about it? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got a scripture here, you know, just going back into that. This is a... Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus 11 and 2. 
Commend not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance, man. And you see how our people, you know, they're looking at this outward appearance and, and, and making and casting judgments. Mm -hmm. And you could be casting judgment upon the elect of Israel right there, bro. Yeah, you're, you're not even allowing people to show who they really are. Right. The gospel, the word is what tests people's uh, hearts. Yeah, right? that's right. Not, that's right. Your, not your eyes doing paper bag tests. Yeah, right, right. Like it's a... Uh, What's that movie with Spike Lee? With the with the, with the sororities and fraternities. Uh uh. <laughs> what was that movie, man? I got it at the crib too. School days. School days. School days. Where the boys are from Mother Africa. <laughs> yeah. So the milk of that me, sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You know. But yeah, man, I mean, you can't be having that, uh, what's called, in fact, we can get that in Samuel. I know we, we never even brought it up, did we? Oh, that, that's... I don't think we got that, that first, Samuel. I think it's 1 Samuel 7. 1 Samuel. So that, that links up with what you just brought up. You're not supposed to judge by outward appearance. We're judging by faith, man. See, the, our message, the gospel, is really a truly colorblind uh, message. Now, for truth's sake, okay? Right. I know some people want to be, for truth's sake, we do gotta bring out how our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai look like according right. to the scriptures. Right. So that's just for that's for truth's sake. Right. We gotta still go into how the children of Israel look like. Right. For truth's sake. For truth's sake, yeah. They even got relics mm -hmm. in the Middle East. In museums showing up our people. Yeah. Being taken captive, yep. and they literally saying these are the children of Israel yep. taken into captivity during the time of Shalmaneser. And in that time, brothers rocking cornrows, man. Yeah. Come on, Come on man. man. This is uh, this is First Samuel sixteen and seven. But Yahweh said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For Yahweh seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but Yahweh looketh on the heart. Come on. Hey, look that at that. The Most High knows who all Israel is, no matter how they look like. Hey. You don't gotta be as carnal as you and go through a paper bag test. That's right. That's right. I, that's beautiful, man. Right. That's beautiful. Because yes. if, he, if he was like that, he'd be like unto you. Yep. He'd be like unto, he'd be like unto man. And he's not. Now you said he don't see it like man see it. Yep. You guys will throw away the whole seat of Israel. Right. Off the rip, just off of this what. And then you got to go into battle with these people about what is, what is, what is, what is, what is black enough. Right, right, right. You guys don't even know, man. Talk about, talk about melanated this, melanated that. You guys don't even know what, what's even the 100% whatever you think it is, you know? Go ahead, Rob. Got to. Yeah, so read that one more time and bring out this, uh... 28. Yeah, read 64. that, this 64 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there, shall, there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father have known, even even wood and stone. Now thy and even thy father had known even wood and stone. So when the Most High scattered us, we went into different lands, and there we ended up worshiping those other gods. Yep. Now when you were talking about earlier, how you see when old huh. girl came back here. Oh yeah. She came. What did she end up doing? She ended up coming she, back and then falling and, and worshiping other gods. Yeah, started worshiping other gods, man. Cause see the the, the influence of this place. If you are on the outskirts of Babylon. And for you to come back into Babylon, not being here for a while, man, this place or is going to have grown up here. Not, uh, yeah, that, I mean, not growing up here, man, you're going to have a hard time trying to combat these these influences, man. Mm -hmm. you, you Like like somebody who's raised up in this thing, they have a little, they have built a, a, a kind of a little fortress, so to mm -hmm. speak, you know, through the scriptures, through truth, through the spirit, you know, they can, they can go against that stuff, you know what I mean? But for a person who hasn't been in the midst of this, man, it's very difficult for them to be able to fight off and ward off this, this influence, man. Because yeah, growing up in something culturally is not faith. Yeah. You're doing it because you were brought up in it. That's not faith. Yeah, yeah that's not because faith. Because when you go back into the land 2,000 years ago, all them jakes would say, I never ate pork, I never did this, I never right. did that. Because look, y'all were raised up in it, and you're, you're in the midst of a people that is willing to keep that stuff. Once you get scattered and like you went off, or well, according to that, gonna start serving these other gods. Right, it's no right. different than if she probably had moved over mm -hmm. to China. She'd be celebrating Chinese New Year's. Yeah, she yeah. She had a Buddha, burning incense at the Buddhist temple. And you see how, 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 uh, 
how cold, how you know how 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 the most high operated with this piece. It's a cold piece. Will, huh? Yeah, because now you got all these people scattered across, and he just coming in and picking them out, picking them out. Like you say, if you in a group culturally, you know, I mean, he can still pick you out, but for uh, the common person, yeah. you know, you'd be like, hey, everybody's in the truth. Everybody's in, you can deceive anybody. You yeah. know what I mean? Because you all brought up in the same thing. Yeah, that means everybody in Israel was in the truth 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. That don't make no sense. How that don't make no the sense. the Sadducees and Pharisees being the truth and then exactly. also Yahushua's disciples? Exactly, exactly. That's the state that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. now the good thing is, like we were talking about earlier, is that a lot of people know about this whole Israel thing. A lot of people are willing to at least say that this is the word that we need to follow. So now we can discourse now. Right. Now we can debate our cause with our neighbor and say, hey, look, look at this. You know, you got to look at it this way. This is the gospel. This ain't the gospel. You know, but just got, you know, what's being tied here, a tithes, tithes only for the Levites. Guys, you know, we yep. can go into all that and start cutting down the, those doctrines. Go ahead, huh? Man, I got, oh, you got some more? I'm gonna give you an example of, of you know how our people are in this in this piece, man. Now check this out. This is uh First Maccabees. This is Maccabee First Maccabees nine, starting at the twenty third verse. It says, now this is after this is after the death of Judas Judas Maccabees, and this will give you the, uh, a clear idea of how our people are. Now after the death of Judas. The wicked began to put forth their heads in all the coast of Israel, and there rose up all such as wrought iniquity. In those days also was there a great famine by reason whereof the country revolted and went with them. Then Bacchides chose the wicked men and made them lords of the country, and they made inquiry and search for Judah's friends and brought them unto Bacchides who took vengeance upon them and used them despitefully. So was there a great affliction in Israel, like whereof was not since the, that time a prophet was not seen among them. For all this cause, all Judah's friends came together and said unto Jonathan, Since thy brother Judas died, we have no man like him to go forth against our enemies and back eyes and against them of our nation that are adversaries to us. So, so you got to look at that, man. Them of our nation that are adversaries to us. Come on, man. <laughs> hey man, come on, bro. Hey, and a lot of these things are similar to with Judas, because when you go into Luke chapter one, when we talk about the art that delivers from our enemies in the hands of those that hate us, yep. they were looking for a deliverer. Yep. So our deliverance, Yahweh Shai, and guess what? The enemies that we also need to be delivered from if you're part of the elect includes your own people. Yep. Your own on, people. Man. That's a that man. That, that's that's a, a that's a cold cut, bro. Cold cut, man. Cold cut, man. To my all Israel needs to get together. I said no. I don't agree. And the Bible back and the word of the Lord backs me up. Yeah. We're not trying, we're not trying to save all Israel. I'm trying to, you know. I'm yeah. To save, we can't even try to can't even guarantee to save myself. Why well, I look like trying to go right. run down a uh, uh, run down a guy that's completely set against us, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, against the gospel of Yahweh Shah, man. You know. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, it was always division. There was never a time when Israel was together as one, except for a short period of time under David yeah. and Solomon. Yeah, yeah under David and, and Solomon. Remember, That's before right. David came into power, he, it was mad division in Israel, man. Yep. There was a lot of division in Israel during that time, you know? And that was when we were in our land, for crying out loud, man. We had priests, prophets, and all that, you know? We had land allotments, cattle, you know what I'm saying? Man. The man could actually say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm the man of the house, and actually, Run it like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays you can't even do that. You talking about us all is getting together, man. In, in the condition that we're in today. Come on, man. Bro, this, this, this Maccabees is just so heavy with these type of uh, type of uh, yeah. uh, pieces. His one in That's uh, why they, when they talk about the wicked, they ain't always talking about Esau. It ain't always talking. Yeah, when you go into this Maccabees, man, and they go in so much on wicked Israelites. Yep. I mean, come on, That's man. That's why they had to take it out, man. Woo! This, this hey, here's another one. This is a, uh, this is a, uh, First Maccabees, seven, and I, I just started the fourth verse. Um, well, I'll just start from the top. In the hundred, hundred and one and fiftieth year, Demetrius, the son of Seleucus, departed from Rome and came up with a few men unto a city of the co of the seacoast, and reigned there. 
and, it, and as he entered into the palace of his ancestors, so it was that his forces had taken Antiochus and Lysias to bring them unto him. Wherefore, when he knew it, he said, let me not see their faces. So his host slew them. Now when Demetrius was set upon the throne of his kingdom, there came unto him all the wicked and ungodly men of Israel. Come on, man. Come on, man. Have an alchemist who was desirous to, to be high priest for their captain. So, man, you got wicked, the wicked people in our own peace, bro. Now, when you go into the parable of the deceit and the sower, right? It, oh, man. Good example, Come bro. On, man. man That's it's what true. Saying, it ain't talking about Esau. Man. It ain't talking about no Esau, man. That's talking about the wicked of Israel, Sold man. by the Satan. Exactly. The one who sold them is the is is that is the wicked one. Yep. The is, devil, man. Is the devil. So we Satan, got man. we got Satan is the one who, who, who's you know. Yeah, we got the we got Israelites who uh, well we have Israelites according to the flesh yeah. who are influenced by Satan by by Satan, yeah. right? And this is a time when our people are in a, in a place of uh, you know being attacked it's during the Great Greek Empire. Why wouldn't they just get on the side of their own people, bro? Right. But they link it up with Esau. You think they're gonna do that in, a lot, in, in these days too? Shoot, they're gonna do the same we thing. A bunch of Jake, that are cops, military, whatever, uh, 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 national guard, all that stuff that's gonna be mowing down Jake. Uh huh. Hey, hey, and just like the scriptures say, those even of your own household, man, because you we we all know we got family members, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, they ain't you with this. you come, you, they ain't with this. And then if it, there's an order out there that says, hey, we need to look at all these Israelites, blase blase. You know, you got family members that are called hey, up hey. on you. Hey, look. Yep. Look, that joker right over here in Blase Blase neighborhood, this is the address. Mm -hmm. If you need a cell phone number, I can get that too. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, they, they'll, they'll sell you out, man. Yeah. That's what Yahweh Shai said, that he must show the disciples that he was going to suffer <laughs> under the hands of the chief priests. <laughs> of his own people. <laughs> his own people, man. So that's, that's, that's something else, man. Deuteronomy chapter 30, start at verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, that thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither Yahweh thy power hath scattered thee. Right. And that's part of the fulfillment. That's right. How are we going to get the land and then he's telling us in the same token in the law that we ain't going to be in the land. He's going to scatter us. Yep. That's when we say the word that that's our land. The nations will say, "No, it's not." Well, y'all not over there. I don't got the land. The land is the the land is the Israelis, the Jews, the Jewish people. That's Deuteronomy 2864. Yeah. Well, what 2860? Yeah, we gotta call them to mind. Yeah. We gotta bethink ourselves. We can go into uh, with that First Kings eight. First Kings eight and about forty. Because even Solomon referenced this. Yeah. First Kings 8 and about 46, let me get it. Call them to mind, meaning you should call to mind, damn, we were blessed, damn, we're cursed. Damn, mm. all these things did come to pass. Right. That's why he said call to mind. When you call to mind all these blessings and the curses, uh -huh. you can read it in Deuteronomy 28, just as just a one chapter to choose from. There's more. And you can say, oh, damn, we had this. Oh, damn, we got cursed. Yeah. Damn, look at the condition. Damn, we can't lend to nobody. Right. Damn, we are at the bottom. Yeah. We're not the, we're not the head. We are the tail. Yeah. Damn, the, you know, our land was taken from us. Damn, our cattle was too. Uh-huh. Man, we fit it like a puzzle, man. Mm -hmm. There's no other people on this planet that fits these these scriptures like, mm -hmm. like we do, man. There's no other You think that if someone that's from Jamaica truly owns their land, you don't know anything. Mm-hmm. You don't know anything, man. Yeah. You know where our parents are from, they don't own their land. That's, that's property of the government. Right. That means right. at any time, the government decide that they want that land and push you off. They come and push you off. Because look, if they decide they want it, and you can even come with law and say that it's yours. But you know what? They got a military. Mm -hmm. They can come in there and knock you out regardless of what the law is telling them, man. And you know, and that's what it seems like it's getting to anyway. And this is First uh, Kings chapter eight. Now, this is during the time Solomon was praying to the Most High that he would remember us in that time. Now this is 
First Kings chapter 8 and verse... Let's start at verse uh, 43. Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and do according to all the stranger that the stranger calleth to, to thee for, that all the people of the earth may know thy name, to fear thee as do thy people Israel, and that they may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. If thy people go out to battle against their enemy, whithersoever that thou shalt send them, and shall pray unto the to Yahweh, unto toward the city which that thou hast called, and toward the house that I have built for thy name. Then hear thou the supplication of the, uh, heaven, their prayer, and their supplication to maintain their cause. Mm -hmm. Now here's the point: if they sin against thee, right? For there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near right right okay there yet go. if they shall bethink themselves in the land of their captivities in the land of their cap in the land which they were cap carry captive and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive and saying we have sinned and have done perversity we have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all their heart with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward the land which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which called by name, then hear thou their prayer and supplication in the heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. Nigga that. All Jake, so, all Jake repent and bow down to the east. Immediate don't tell what's gonna happen. Right. Hey, hey. Boy. You know what? Hey, he's bound he, to his word. Yeah, right? hey, he's bound to his word, so he doesn't really have to come. Yep. But hey, the most I, power, the most high in his infinite wisdom, knowing the heart of Jake. It, it. it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. So, so some subset of us have to do it. So a subset that he lack, man. Yeah, the subset of the elect. Because those who cry to him day and night, man. Yeah. Hey man. How's he gonna deliver people who's not crying out to him? Right. To be delivered. They saying they want to be here. Right, right. They saying they want to be in captivity. They saying that we are homeborn slaves. We are to be spoiled day and night. Mm -hmm. It's like when you tell Jake, man, that say ain't really for us, man. They'll say, man, I don't give a damn. My parents built this. We built this. I'm staying right here. And, and, and this is this is something for Billy for, Club over the head. Right. Come down again. Hey, and this is something. For, again tomorrow. And this is something for our, for our people, man. Is that. We, it, those who who have the ears to hear, man, is that we have to start to restructure our prayers, man. That's right. You got to restructure your prayers, man. Don't don't be always asking for things, so to speak. You know what I mean? Because you know how Jake is. They were like, let me get this. I need this new thing. I want this new. Man, that's a carnal. That's a carnal mindset. You know, you got to be asking the Most High to deliver you out of this condition, yep. out of this place, man. And that got to be the main focus. And shoot, you keep on repeating it. Keep on repeating it, man. Because those prayers are being stored up there, man. Yeah, when you go through the scriptures, it talks about how those that had faith on a calling upon him and him hearing their prayer and delivering them. Yep. You know? I, I just flipped right over to, to one. This is Psalm chapter 18. Starting at verse, verse 2. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and horn of my salvation in my high tower. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. Mm. That's right. You have to call upon him to be saved, man. Yep. So I can go even over to another one. You can go to, you can go, to uh, chapter, go to chapter 12. I think it's chapter 12. Here it is. It's Psalm chapter 12. It's starting at verse, verse 5. For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, mm. now will I arise and say of Yahweh, and I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. 
the sign of the needy, man. Yeah. Sign pride. Yeah. You gotta be somebody that's doing it. He ain't going he can't it's man. Yeah. I went talking to the brother, man. We were talking us it was it was heavy, could have should have been a lesson. It was it. <laughs> talking about the damsel in distress, man. The elect is the damsel in distress, man. That's and right. the damsel in distress is crying cries, man. Yeah. Right. Go watch all them little movies, man. Which our, our forefathers wrote in the Middle Ages as well. You know? There was yep. a lot of those those what's it called were about the damsel in distress, man. Crying, help me, help me. Yeah. Well you you Jake's played uh Mario Brothers. The whole thing is about a damsel in distress. Yeah, you see in some of the uh, different Mario Brothers, you actually see Princess actually saying, Help me, help me. Yep. And you got that big Bowser, man, over there holding their captive, right? Yeah, yeah. Until what? Mario comes to and delivers. The same thing in this, man. It's, it, it's that simple. Yeah. And even a kid can understand it, man. Yep. So you got so that's like the brother's right, man. You gotta restructure your prayer, man. Uh-huh. You know, you really do. Yeah. You really part of your prayer should be, you know, deliver us, Lord, mm -hmm. deliver us. It should be part of your prayer. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Because the more and more he hears that, that he's gonna be like, you uh -huh. know how you do, man. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? You gotta, gonna, you know? Hey man, you know what? Like, hey, hey, because then the Lord remembered his covenant that he had with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he yeah. had respect unto them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. There you but go. when they wasn't crying, yeah. when they wasn't sighing, and he said, Are you going to yeah. Exodus? Yeah. He wasn't right. doing nothing. Yeah, he wasn't doing nothing. That's when some of the cries came up to him that he, he said, hey. he said he remembered his covenant. Uh -huh. He had with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he looked upon him. That's right. And he had respect unto them. And he had respect, but so. Then, so. He, was, then he went to sell him. Then he went and raised up a, del a deliverer, which was Moses. Uh -huh. He raised up Moses to come through and, you know, bring him out of Egypt. So what does that tell you, man? <laughs> hey, man, so. That means the restructuring of that prayer, man. If brothers and sisters get in unison and start doing that, man, the most high will start making things happen, bro. Yeah. Things yeah. will start start moving. Yep. You know, and then you can, <laughs> hey, look it up into the sky where thy deliverance, for thy yep. deliverance is not. So, man, hey, we need to restructure that piece real really quick, like, man. Because I know for me and, and my family prayer, man, you know, I always, you know, put a, a, a prayer for, for mercy upon them, the, the head should be around them, you know, to be increased in this in this knowledge or whatever, you know, and uh, but then when we get to the private ones, you know, you got to, I go into my private prayers, you know, it's a, it's different from what I do as a group. Mm -hmm. And you got to, you know, you got to put it in there, man. Yeah, you really do. Right. You really, really do. That's how you know Christians, this ain't for them. Right, right. It's a so-called Christian. A fake Christian, not the real ones from back 2,000 years ago. Right. A so-called Christian can't pray that true prayer. They can't say, "I want this. I want the the, the world rulers to go down." They can't pray that prayer. They can't because they, they love. So it. they're looking forward to like the mm. Internet of Things. They're looking forward to the chip. They're yeah, looking forward to yeah. Freaking a brave new world. Uh huh. Because because anybody in their right mind, you seeing that, you looking at it and saying. It, it really is no escape from this thing that's about to come on us. Yep. So there's going to have to be a mandatory prayer for that deliverance to come to you, yep. man. So those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, man. So you got to call for that deliverance, man. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't calling for that deliverance, that means that, hey, you cool with it. You down with it. Yeah, I, I, I don't have no problems with this. It's cool for right now, not knowing that the enemy is killing you through your food, through your water, through the air you breathe. Hey man, you but being destroyed, bro. Ah, when I saw that documentary, bro. Yeah. I was like, how in the world can I have a kid, right? Yeah, uh, man. In this society, bro, it's very it's difficult. Right, right. It's very difficult. For brothers that have yep. kids and sisters that have kids, mm -hmm. what this, what condition this is? It is, bro. This is very difficult to raise your kids in this place. You almost have to go into a isol isolationist type mode just to raise your kids, but yeah, that that ain't good, you know? You can't that really ain't live it. That, that ain't, ain't living, that ain't life, because you 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 living in a box. You yeah. putting yourself in a box. You want to be able to be freely to roam lands and everything. Mm -hmm. But man, when you isolated, man, that means that there's something out here that you don't like. Yeah. So I got to get my people away from that piece that I don't like, because that ain't Talking right. about the schools and stuff? School systems, man. Because they got mandatory vaccines. Mandatory stuff. vaccines, man. Just, just in, in general, I took when we took our, our kids out of schools, and then we had to go because these they they wanted to put these vaccines on. So then we have to get waivers every year. So when you get the waivers every year for it, then if you don't get the waiver and you tell them no, then they got somebody knocking on your door. 
Yep. You know what I'm saying? So for them to try and take their kids away. And try and take scary. That's a scary, scary thing, thing to, to, to live, have to live in, bro. Now that's know true. that they could they could say, oh well, look, you don't want to vaccinate your kids. We gotta take them and we gonna take them, take them and put them into it's, it's being a part of the state. Oh, exactly. They're gonna be part of the state. And, and none of those kids, man. I feel so I feel man. so bad for kids that had to grow up in that system, man. Bruh. That's the worst thing, period, for a kid. Man, you to not have their own uh, grow up in their own home. You have to be in like like in that uh like in that poem uh. Like in that poem that Tupac, Tupac wrote, talking about the rose that grew from the concrete. Mm -hmm. Man, you got to be an extraordinary vi uh, a, a person to come out of that situation, man, when you inside that system, man. Yep. And it's rarely those that many that come out that's shining like that, man. See, see, see the slander? Uh -huh. We're Muslim, but we clearly hold Bibles. Oh, these, oh, shit. I mean, I know he's out of there, but yeah. even the ones that don't be out of there, we yeah. say the same thing. Y'all go Muslim? Like, dude, do you not see that we have Bibles in our hands? Yeah, man. And see, that's a, that's another thing. Look, look how, look how. When, 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 when in Babylon have you seen Muslims out on the streets preaching? Right, right. That's see that lets you know that's part of the. That's, a, that's Satan. That's Satan. That's bro. Satan. What a, the accuser of the brethren? He's yeah. speaking through them. That's right. That's right. That's all it is. He cute, you know. Mm -hmm. That's accuser of the brethren speaking in them. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous, right. Man. That's true, bro. That's true. You know what we're talking about, but but Satan didn't try to just jump and make them say that slanderous stuff, man. Boy, I tell you, man, this this is crazy. Go ahead and read that. That uh, this, this could branch off into a lot of stuff. Yeah. Right, the priests probably start jumping into our heads off of the, uh, this one. This is going back to that Deuteronomy chapter thirty. Yeah. Uh, we'll go down to verse two. And shall return unto. Yahweh thy God and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day thou and thy children with, with all thine heart with all thy soul that then Yahweh thy power will return thy cap will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee uh -huh. if any of thine be driven out unto the utter the outmost part of heaven from thence will the Lord thy God deliver thee and from thence will he fetch thee so it don't matter how it, far the scattered had went right? it don't matter all this only on this side of the world you guys don't have you, you don't have faith in that word right here you yep. just you have to put a black marker over it man it's basically what you have to do yeah because you got there's the two sides of the argument you got the argument that is too far left like true nations True Nation 12 over there in LA, they have completely said that the that we can't figure out Genesis 49. So that means we don't know if we're in the last days. Right. Because it clearly says in the beginning, in the last days I'll tell you what shall befall me. But that was just a sign for us to know we're in the last days because there was going to be something that was going to happen in that region. Which we say America is Babylon the Great, man. Right. Okay? There's no other place on the planet where you can see our people in this type of social condition man it, it, it's it's so backwards over here it's not even funny everything is upside down over here in Babylon everything is upside down especially among our people everything works backwards the, uh, the whole thought process of our people is backwards it's not the other way around right right Jeez. going further on verse 5 and the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, so this is after we're scattered, and, uh, and repent, confess, and do the works uh, worthy of, of being delivered, who returns us back into the land that our fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it, and he will be do good, do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And Yahweh thy God will circumcise thine heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love Yahweh like a God with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And Yahweh thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, mm. which persecute thee. Yeah. Mm. Oh. So what we're you're seeing, seeing that, that today. Yep. You're seeing that today. Oh boy. Man, we got to, man, in this land of captivity, man, we got to stay focused on our Lord and Savior. Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man.
So this message should resonate, and this should be a, 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 a message that should resonate with, this, with the seed of Israel regardless of where they're at. Yeah. This should make you feel some type of way, no matter where you're at. If, you, if this resonates with you, you should be like, man, this, I need this. Yeah. I got, I got, I got a, here's a scripture for you. This is, uh, and this should resonate too on it. This is Jeremiah 42. I'm waiting for this to pass by. And, and this can go for every, this can go for every Israelite in whatever land that they dwell in. Mm -hmm. Whatever land they dwell in, if you over there in China, if you over there in the Persian Gulf or wherever it is. Oh, I What's it called? In the what's it called? Did they say they also target the Philippines too? Stay hey, the Philippines. In that, in that, what's it called? Yep, show sure right. Go ahead. Now here it is. This is this is Jeremiah 42 and 10. If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you, and not pull you down, and I will plant you, and not pluck you up, for I for I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith Yahweh, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show you mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. Hey, man. So whatever land you in, man. Hey, man. Abide. The Most High is going to build you up. And then that, you know, that delivers. Look how look what's happening right now. This is something that people ain't never seen before. Mm -hmm. right. Brothers coming out preaching, preaching the gospel of truth, man. Mm -hmm. What's up, you got a question? No, oh, oh, okay, no problem. Yeah. I just wanted to throw that out there because it can apply to every any person who's in whatever land, man. You know, mm -hmm. abide where you are. The Most High gonna build you up, and then that deliverance gonna come out, man. You gonna come out. Yeah, this is uh. You are you in Jeremiah right now, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Jeremiah, in Jeremiah. Go to 23 and uh, verse 7. So, okay, verse 7 and 8. 23. Most of going to do the, the deliverance throughout the four corners of the earth. It's not going to be just here, man. I don't know where that. I know the doctrine yeah. was right. messed up. People taught, and now they push it on younger brothers to feel that way, you know? We've seen guys with some zeal that we talked about that's out there. And, you know, but they can't even get their mind off of it because either they, they, what they, who they learn from is wrong, but this, the pages tell you how the deliverance is going. Yep, this is uh, Jeremiah 23 and 7. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that they shall no more say, Yahweh liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but Yahweh liveth, which, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries whither I have driven them and they shall dwell in their own land. Yeah, that's not I'm talking about those people that are in their land that call them, that purposely call themselves Israelis. Right, right, right. They don't call themselves Israelites for a reason. Go to Etymology Online, look up the word Israeli, it tells you, it tells you that it does, they're not the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. When you look up Israelites, it says those that are descendants of Jacob. Right, right. So they even know, because see, the rulers of this world, the, they deal with legalistic terms. Right, right. So they understand that words have power. Right. So when they place an identity upon a people, they're on there for a reason. And they know legally they cannot, they don't want to place the, the real identity upon who they really are. That's right. You know, what you got, what you got there? Is that the Bible? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, no? Oh, oh no, nah, we just read uh, Jeremiah 23 and 7. Yeah, it's where Jeremiah 23 yeah. 7, which is a future prophecy that when it happens, no longer will people be talking about how, about the Exodus yeah, that people yeah. grew up on. Yeah. Because the deliverance, the second deliverance is going to be it's way be, greater. So yeah, greater. Yeah. that proves that those people that are in, our, in, the, land of, in the land of Israel cannot be the people. They can't be the people. Because nobody talks about that fake deliverance that was written by right. a Balfour Declaration. Right. Because all of them just got on the boat and went over there to Israel, yeah. man. And on top of that, they didn't even believe in them. They, they don't even believe in the Messiah. They don't believe in the Messiah. So if they don't believe in the Messiah, how could they be the same people? Because he's not going to. It tells you in the scriptures that he's going to bring his people back to their land yep. when they believed upon him. Right. right. That's so true. That don't make no sense. Because see, the average person that calls himself a Christian, we know that eight. We know that the average person that calls himself a Christian is not believing the Bible, and we can prove it. Right. Go ahead, go ahead and get, let's go, let's, let's bring out some stuff. 
Uh-huh. We can go to uh, Acts chapter 4, verse uh, 28, 29. So if you got something, go ahead and start there. Hold on, no, go on here, go on here. You got it. Acts chapter 4, verse, um, Acts chapter 4, verse 29. Acts 4 and 29. And now, Yahweh, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. By stretching forth thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Yahweh mm -hmm. And when they had heard, when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. Mm -hmm. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of Yahweh with boldness. Mm -hmm. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. Now those that believe were of one heart and one soul. Uh -huh. Now in Christianity, you can have you can have, you don't have to have the same mind. Yeah, yeah. Because in Christianity, one could be Catholic, one could be Christian, one could be Baptist, one could be yeah, Pentecostal. Yeah. Lutheran. So how Catholic, in the world yeah. could that be the same group of people that's that's back then the right. same ones if they have a different mind? Right, right. You gotta be that one. Make no sense. So you gotta be speaking the same thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now let's see who 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 the Messiah died for. Now go to uh, Acts chapter five. And I think it's verse twenty nine and Acts five and twenty nine. Yeah. Oh, where, where is this? It, we just go. We were starting off with the uh, tribes, and then you know after that we just let the spirit just flow. Forty four thousand. Uh, well, yeah. Well, well, we're basically going into the identities, mm -hmm. and then the scattering. It was all about the scattering that we were speaking on. And then, and then we just let the spirit flow from there after we got off that, that particular topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what that is, just to kind of bring it even further, that is just, it's, that, that chart is just, goes into Genesis 49. Right. The scattering of the Israelites, is the, the curse, according to the curses, Israelites can be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But, there, but in order for us to know who we are, we had to exhibit, we had to go through certain curses. Right. That was said if we didn't follow that we were going to be scattered, including uh, out of the land of Israel. And right. we're going to face different levels of oppression and desperation everywhere we were at. That we were going to be hated among all people everywhere we go. So mm -hmm. we were going into the curses and part of that chart just goes into what was going to happen to all the particular tribes. Right. And only on this side of the earth can you actually break that down. Yeah. Now, when you go into the scattering, when you go like into Acts chapter 2, you, you can see that we were scattered into other lands, which is when you go into, because in Christianity, they're never going to teach you that the new covenant was only for Israelites. Right. And we can prove that. Now, we're going to go ahead and get and see who, who the Messiah died for, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go into the covenants, which we yeah. partly went into, but we're going to go further on. So yeah. go ahead, all right. This is Acts chapter 25 and verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. The Whom he slew name. and hang on the tree. Yeah, Shai is, is the true name of the Messiah. That's what he was called 2,000 years ago. Right. Everybody knows that Jesus, uh, yeah, yeah, was, the yeah, word Jesus, yeah, mm -hmm. the word Jesus did, never, did not exist 2,000 years ago. Right. Right. Because the gave the right, right, there you go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what language are they speaking? The angel, the angel gave Mary the name and told him what, what he would be called. And said it's called, it's, he shall be called Yahawashai, which means he is the Savior. Yah means he, Hawashai means savior or deliverer. That's literally what his name means. Right. So go ahead, bro. Verse 31. Him have, have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So he, so he was chosen and exalted to give repentance to Israel. Uh-huh. He, not all nations. That right. doesn't exist. Right. It doesn't exist. Now, what did you want to bring up? This is uh, eight. This is Hebrews eight and eight. You want to go into those? No, go ahead. That's good. This is Hebrews eight and eight. For finding fault with them, he said, "Behold, the days come," saith the Lord, "when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when they took them out." by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and I regard it not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their heart and I will be 
to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. So that's in the New Testament. That's in the New Testament. That's in the New Testament. It said that the New Covenant is for the house of Israel and the house of Judah, uh -huh. not for everybody. Not for everybody. In fact, if you can, uh, what, you, what you get? You, get something you can get that, that, and it's also in, in the book of Jeremiah. It's in Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah in Je 31. It's the same. It's the same. Uh, uh, that's what. That's what they were quoting. They were quoting. You got to remember when they were back then. They were. They, oh, they didn't have no, the New Testament as it is. We didn't have that yet. Two thousand years ago. So when the Paul, Peter, and all the apostles, they didn't weren't carrying around the book of Corinthians. Yeah, yeah. The the gospels. They had the old. They had the prop, books of the law and the prophets, and they were understanding by faith what exactly he was talking about. I ain't got no more cards. Y'all got any more cards? No, I'm gonna get, get uh, yeah, I got more cards. Yeah, yeah, you can get the brother cards. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, he can, they just said the information, they got one. Oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna get, this is in Luke, okay? Oh, you gonna? <laughs> I'm gonna get Luke oh. chapter two. Well, we can get that oh, too. Oh, okay. If you wanna get that Luke, Luke one, because you know, you heard in the church, right? They say be saved, right? So yeah, go ahead and get that Luke, but I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that out and I'm gonna get the other one in Luke. So. All right, this is Luke one. This is Luke one. Now let's see what it means to be saved, right? Because in the Christian church, you go and you believe and they say, oh, I'm saved, right? right. Let's see what, it, let's see the definition in the, according to the Bible, not our words, right, what it right. means to be saved. Okay, it's, this is Luke one, starting at the 60, 68 verse. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Redeemed his people, that's a, that's a, that's a possessive pronoun, redeemed yeah. his people, right? Now mm -hmm. let's see who his people are. And, and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. So the, That's what being yeah. saved is. Mm -hmm. You which, being, which, mm -hmm. Unless, Go ahead, I, unless the kingdom of heaven is here, you're not saved. That's right. Mm -hmm. because, right. And, and it's clear that the people that believe, that believe on the Messiah, have a people that have are, are hated. Right. And it also, according to the scriptures, right. yep. the Israelites. Psalm 82. Tell you all the, the enemies of Israel. Yep. yep. Psalms 82. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I, I am in the midst of Israel. And that I, that I am the Lord your God and none else. My people shall never be ashamed. He said, I'm the Lord your God and none else. Mm -hmm. He's the Israel. He said, I'm no other God but the, but those people are. Yeah. You know? Oh, we got our parking really expired. Oh, no problem, no problem, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, hey, no problem. Yeah, no problem. You, All right, man. Check us out on YouTube. No yeah, every weekend. Yeah, every weekend. Yeah. Yeah, email yeah. us if you have any questions. Yeah. Because right. cool. awesome. you're not going to learn, you hey, know, no a lot of the stuff you want to know about the Bible and what's happening in the, this yeah. current time, yeah. the end is coming. Yeah. You're not going to learn that going to the churches. Yeah. Of course, it's just not. Yeah. We grew up in them churches. They're not going to bring out these scriptures that we just brought out, and they're in the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Make it more interesting. Yeah. All right. All right. Take care. Hey, no problem, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ready, man. Hey. Yeah, man, they might yeah. have zeal, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You know, hey. the scriptures, you know, how many young chains carry a yeah. bottle in their back? Right, right. Hey. Hey. Man, he, got it. he can't be no older than 17, bro. Yeah. He's probably 15, he, right? Yeah, bro, and pull the sword out of his bag, bro. So hey, man, now that, that that lets you know that this thing is getting out there, bro. Yeah. You know, you and, and, and you know what? Like the scriptures say, you can't judge from outer appearance. The brother had, like, blonde hair. Yep. I guarantee you, if he'd have, if he'd have hiked it down oh, there, well, they would have gave, they would have tore him up. It'd have been, a, it'd been a different story, man. Yeah, that brother pulled a sword out, man. That's commendable for a young brother like that, man. Yeah, he had that stuff in his back, man. Yeah. He's probably in the youth group and all that. Yeah, He's zealous, wanting to know. Uh huh. Because people know, man. Yeah, they, people, have, people, they, they want to know, they want to know the Lord, man. That's yeah, what they do. But yeah. they know that that wasn't the true name. He was already on the top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just to know that they, they it, it, didn't exist. Yeah, right, right. When you, he said, you tell that, your folks that, bro, they'd be like, oh, yeah. well, you don't know what they're talking about. Uh huh. You say what's happening in that book? There's Jesus on the top. Yep. Jesus it's like my aunt. My aunt, my, aunt, my aunt was on me. Why can't I can't just call him Jesus? Right. Uh, his her daughter, my cousin, was like. Yeah. You don't just hear what he said. Yeah, right, right, right. He said the letter J didn't even come through until. So how you gonna call him Jesus? Yeah, then? that's like that's like somebody that's coming simple, up. Man. 
Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, that's almost, that's, that's already cut off the belief. Come on. Jesus, when I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, so he got a different name? Oh, so I've already been lying to him off the rip. Yeah, hey, I've been lying to him off the rip. <laughs> the rip. I, I'm like, telling, I've been lying to him. Like I used to tell, I tell y'all the brothers, man, I was like, man, my aunt, man, I, I just went in one day, man. I was like, man, Jesus ain't real, man. <laughs> I don't, I ain't scared of that Negro, you know? I was just throwing, I was like, man, Jesus didn't, I can, hey, I can care less about that, man. Jesus I don't need him for more salvation. Yep. He don't exist in this world. Yeah. No. Man, I ain't up there like, what, 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 what? Looking at my mama, what? Man, well, get that boy. What's wrong with that boy? <laughs> yeah, Jesus come with his own doctrine, man. Our own doctrine. Own that's doctrine. That's why when you go into the covenants, it's very obvious, man. And that's why we know you put a Christian in front of someone who knows these scriptures, man. They gonna re reject the faith, man. Right. They gonna reject. They man. gonna reject the faith, man. It's just, they sit down and really listen, sit down and listen. Uh -huh. They're gonna be like, man, all right, man. And you know what, and that's the thing with Jake, man. They just got to get that blocker off their mind to where they think that their stuff is elite and don't give themselves an opportunity to listen. You know what I'm saying? They just plug their ears. Oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm not listening to anyone. Jake, Jake got a, a communist mindset. And what I mean by communist, in communism, you can't even debate ideas. Yeah. It's this way and that's it. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. when it comes to Jake to sit down and actually discourse and have a discussion a lot of times, you don't want to have that. It's my right. Jesus did this and that. I right. don't care what none of y'all say. I know uh, what happened to me. I know right. what I've been brought through. Yeah, you know hey, hey, hey. Cause they, they, yeah, because they didn't. They have all those different uh, yeah. Jewish sorcerers up in there, Elysimuses. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what Satan, uh, what Satan tried to uh, entice Yahweh Shai, who mm -hmm. told him, if you bow down, you know, all this will be yours. Yeah. So if you're breaking the commandments of the Most High, you actually falling after after Satan, so you you giving yep. over, giving yourself over to Satan. So he might bless you one or twice. Yep. You know, yeah. he might put some bad blessings up on. Yeah, you. yeah, that's right, that's right. You, know, you yeah. bowing down to him. Uh huh. And that's what I told a uh, 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 brother about uh, what I'll say now, man. Yep. Yeah. Is you get into this truth, which is, I think I said it. I don't know if I edited it out. I don't. I think it's in my lesson. Mm -hmm. so you probably can't hear it unless you have the volume all the way up because the earphones in. But I said what he'll do is you'll get in to believing, and then as soon as you get in believing, your friends, your siblings, your sisters, yep. they start getting blessed. Yeah. Yeah. And then you sit there like struggling. Uh -huh. Right. And now right. he's trying to tempt you to be like, come on my side. Do this. I'll get yeah, some do that. Thing for you. I'll get this and that for you. Mm-hmm. You see, it's all, it's all, you it's know. It's because they went to church, that's why. Yeah, hey, right, that, hey, man, that's what they'll tell you, man. They celebrated Christmas, they acknowledged Jesus. That's why they get blessed, you know? That's right. <laughs> they went to church on Easter Sunday, right. the resurrection. You know, now <laughs> you got a new job, you got a new car, you're doing well. Oh, man. You're doing something right, because you ain't getting nothing. Yep, yeah, because they prosperity gospel. Yeah, prosperity, prosperity gospel. Prosperity gospel says, you, you, you know, which that's the reason why it's a materialist, it's based on carnality. Mm -hmm. That's why that stuff appeals to the world so much because when you come at that prosperity gospel, people just really want to satisfy their belly. Right, yeah. right. That's why it's so easy for those pastors to use that angle mm -hmm. and say, you're gonna be, it's gonna be the cup, it's gonna run it over of blessings. Right, right. You're gonna be able to contain it, you're gonna have to give it to other people. See, they up there you know? think, you see, and they thinking it on, in, in, on this side, but it's not on this side, it's mm -hmm. on the other side, man. Because yep. remember now, when Paul said that the world to come cannot be compared unto this, that's when that cup going to flow it over. Mm -hmm. You're talking about having bodies that can't be sick. Mm -hmm. well, what, what good is it to have all the money in the world and you in the bed all the time, man, because yep. you're sick. But you got this brand new car out here. You got the Bugatti in the front. You got the three-story house. Yep. You got all this, these things, but you're sick. You know? That's to get blessed by the congregation. You know, we getting we getting this overflow coming in from yep. from Satan. Right. Yep. That boy Cuff Lodonna had all that Ooh. money on there. The anointing, the anointing. The boy was dancing all up on that money. You know? Man. Anointing. The boy was just <laughs> surfing on that money. Man. A sea of money just on there, and people was just like, got so excited, kept on throwing more up. <laughs> you know? I man, that's that's straight. That's what you call sorcery, right there. That's right. That's sorcery, right there, man. When you can, you can influence these people's mind to come in, out of their pocket and just keep throwing that keep stuff, throwing man. Up. You have manipulated. That's sorcery, right there, man. Keep throwing it up. That's why the old boy, man, and, and Tony. Oh, so James Earl. Do. James Earl told like us. He said, "Come here, my daughter. Come here." The girl just fell to her death, man. Mm -hmm. 
sorcery, man. Yep, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you got once you gotta control the mind. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. It is it's a wrap. A lot man. of you brothers and sisters, man, y'all done gave a lot of money to false teachers, man. Yeah, cause because the whole premise of this society is based upon money and power. Mm -hmm. Right. The, how much money you can put in your in your pocket and how much power and influence that you have on the minds of the people who are willing to listen to your word, man. Yep. That's government. That's mind control. Mind control. <laughs> These are the uh, lower, lower luminaries of, of MK Ultra. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, a, lot of these, a lot of these kids, man, y'all already be, they already have the drugs in you to accept predictive right. programming. Right, that's right. Why they, that's why they lower your your sub your your conscious state so your subconscious can take over. Yeah. And start to be like, okay. Man. You know? Man, y'all seen that that little uh it's a little video on YouTube by nanotechnology, man, talking about how they've been spraying the stuff mm -hmm. all out here and it's in all your food and everything and stuff like that. I just saw that just recently too. It's like man, yeah. all in the air and everything. Yeah, man. You know, one of the key things, and this is, uh, you got to tear down these lies, man. Yeah. Because it's crazy. And, and you, you know, and it's a constant thing, man. It's a constant thing you have it to is. do. Because when you start to see, as time moves on, this thing starts to escalate even higher. You're like, man, okay, these dudes came out with a doctrine that's so foolish. You're like, okay, nobody will really believe in that. But then you see how people flock to the buffoonery, man. And then you like, dang, then they take it to the next level and you like, oh man, they gonna come out of that crap. And then more people come in, man. Yeah. And so now you got to push even harder on the gospel side to push it out there just so the people can have a fighting chance against that craziness, man. Mm -hmm. Cause look how hard we fought on, upon this baptism, man. Cause baptism was a thing that was so heavily knocked down in Israel, in the Israelite community. It's like nobody was like, man, I ain't got to dip in no water. I take a bath every day. That was the whole rhetoric. That was the whole thing or whatever. You like now, look at nationality. We we have to get on uh, uh, on our own people about the chart now. Yeah, because when you don't got the gospel, you have to rely on them. Yeah. You have to rely on carnal means. Yeah. The spiritual message is spiritual, but if you don't believe in the in the spirit in the message, then you have to go that route. Right. That's why you start seeing a changing of trying to add more people. Like, okay, well, look, you Italian, you Irish. Right. 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 So that someone says they Polish or German, off the rip. Yeah. They out of there. Yeah, yeah, you coming in with it and not knowing that in the past, man, Poland say, had tons of Israel up in well, there, bro. they know that, that's yeah. the thing. They yeah. already know that. They know about the Middle Ages, huh? Yep. So why they can't have enough faith to believe in what they know about the Middle Ages mm -hmm. to yeah. believe that the other right. thing? Right, right. It's crazy, man. So, I mean, the message is for a, 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 a specific subset of people that's going to believe it's not based on, on skin tone. I'm based on I'm from this geographical location on the earth, so I, I should get it. Because what, what, what people are preaching is really nationality, man. Yeah. Right. And that's the that's that's all because they, they they can't if you don't have the gospel, which, that's the only thing that you can fall to. Which I believe uh, didn't I think Paul went into that. I want to say it's Philippians. In nationality. Well, he went into something about that topic. Philippians. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, cause man, you go into. Oh crap. Okay, here it is. This is Philippians chapter three. And um, now this is the reason why he's going into this, because he'll show you how that can at you um, holding so dearly onto that particular mindset of I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel can hinder you from receive, from really gaining Yahweh Shai. And this is Philippians chapter 3 and verse 3. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Mashiach Yahweh Shai and have no confidence in the flesh. Let's see what he's talking about, confidence in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, 
if any man one, if any other man thinketh that he whereof might trust in the flesh, I am more. Right. Okay, and he's gonna go into why? Because when you because you're gonna see what an example of confidence of the flesh is, this is part of that boasting. Mm -hmm. Though I might also have confidence of the flesh, if any man other other man thinketh he hath more of, might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel. Mm -hmm. Of yeah. the tribe of Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hebrew of the Hebrews. Yeah. As touching the law, I'm a Pharisee. Pharisee. Right. Concerning the zeal, persecuting the church. Right. Touching righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. Right. And you know what's so cold about that? He's like, he's like I can brag about all that. Yeah. Or you can. Uh huh. Because I'm a Benjamin. I'm, hey, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the last of the tribes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the Hebrew of the Hebrews on that. Yeah, 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 Pharisee, yeah. Is that a fan? And what's so, what's so, cool, what's so cold? What's so cold? And what's so cold about his piece? He knew he was at. Today, we don't even know oh, what tribe we come from, bro. Which is why. Oh, okay. you got some more on that? No, no, but that's confidence. In, that's saying, he confidence. Can, that's confidence in the flesh. If you stick on that, you don't you, got Yahweh Shah. Yeah, you don't have Yahweh Shah. And then we go right into this. 1 Timothy 1 and 4. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies. That's the only route you're going to be able to take after that, bro. Yep. Which, which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith. Yep. Come on, man. Yep, and look at this, verse seven, huh? Mm -hmm. Where he says, after which touching the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Mashiach. Yeah, look, so now what is he doing? So he's saying he don't I, even care about I, all that. I ain't even worried about that. It's all about faith in Yahweh Shah now. Can you imagine someone coming up, man? I'm, man, I'm, my, both my parents, yeah. these are lights. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right, right, right. Hey man, that's it's foolishness, man. That's, that's confidence in the flesh, man. That ain't gonna save you. That flesh ain't gonna save you on that, man. Yeah, knowing you, you knowing you're like being circumcised on the eighth day, or I kept all the high holy days from my youth up. Right. That ain't gonna deliver you. Uh huh. That's like when the rich man came unto Yahweh Shai. He told him, he said, All these things have I done. Yahweh Shai came back to him and told him, If thou will, if thou will be perfect, take thy riches and give them to the poor and come and follow me. Come on, man. That boy was sorrowful, man. That brother was sorrowful, man. He couldn't do it because because he what he had many possessions. He man. had many possessions, yeah. bro. He, he loved this world. Bro. He loved the world more than he loved his Lord and Savior, bro. Yep. So you know, it, it, you know, it's like you being in a position, man, uh, like that, man. You would hate to be in a position like that. You almost rather be a regular brother, you know, and be like, man, look here, I ain't never had them riches nowhere. I'm following y'all. You know what right. I'm saying? Well, that's why he said, how are how tough children how hard is it for they that trust in religious to enter into the kingdom all right mm -hmm. he said they were astonished yeah he said children he asked me again <laughs> how, how hard is it they that trust in religious to enter the kingdom for i say unto you it is easier for the for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than it really is for rich men to enter the kingdom of heaven Ooh, that's, God. You know? that's practically impossible it's yeah. impossible bro you ain't gonna be able to do it, man, because see, you you attain the riches of... He said, but who says shall we say? Yeah. He said, with well, man, this is impossible. With well, man, this is well, impossible. Power, all things are possible. Woo! <laughs> that's spiritual right there, man. Well, you you got to so read... He gave you something that was impossible. Yeah. And then told you it was actually possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Girl, amazing, man. That's heavy. Hey, that's some heavy hey, stuff right there. Aaron was rich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> look at that. Joseph A. Hey, shoot. When, when you look at it, man... Those that followed Yahweh, they were wealthy men, man. Yep. Abraham, Isaac, yep. Jacob. These were wealthy men. So it don't necessarily mean that you got to be poor and, and distrodden just to follow Yahweh. You know, you had wealthy ancestors. Joseph, like just like the brother said, Joseph of Arimathea, man. You just have to have that spirit of, of the Holy Spirit in you to, to operate in that capacity, man. Mm -hmm. But see, that young man, hey man, he was up there, he was, he was actually getting into a conversation with the Lord, not knowing who the Lord truly was. Hey, look, I done did all that. I, I, I done did that. I done did that. One thing thou hast not done. <laughs> he up there bumping them gums. Yeah. <laughs> bumping them gums that he got put in his place. It's like, okay. All right, you keep on talking. Now you putting yourself in mud. Yeah, because you got riches on this side. Uh -huh. Your hope is not your consolation. Yep, yep. that's right. You know what I'm saying? Your hope is not your consolation mm -hmm. prize that you're getting because you ain't gonna get the kingdom. Right. That's a scary thing. Yeah. 
Cause you know when I was growing up, man, I wanted to be a, I wanted to be an NBA player, bro. Shoot, man, I mean, all you know, I look at Westbrook and I'd be like, man, that, that could have been me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shoot, you look at all the all the the, the money, man. The way I, I our generation of growing up, man, everything was about money, materialism, and women. We were that was pushed on us so hard, man. This got to be the that has to be the hardest time for anybody, cause, bro, you inundated with all of this stuff, man. And that's all, man. I, that's how I got me, man. I was always thinking about money. I mean, how much more money can I get? How much money can I get? How much? I mean, more women. How many more possessions? And then it got, came to a point, man, when I got stripped of everything, I was like, I had absolutely nothing to my name. And then my mindset started changing up. I was like, man, I ain't worried about that stuff no more. Yeah, yeah. Brother looked at me and said, man, you right, man, you still in that green metro? Say, like, it's whatever, bro. I don't care no more, man. Right. Yeah. I really don't care. I say, man, you know, I was pushing just like y'all, but man, I had a lot of heartache and pain just to try and maintain that stuff. Yeah. And when it got stripped from me, I'm like, hey, it's whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, I, I would roll up on sets, man. They see me in my metro and be some some dime pieces over there. You know, you be sometimes you be like, man, I want to go holler, man. I'm, I'm rolling in the metro. <laughs> yeah. Man, they ain't trying to give you no play in no green metro with sunspots on it. Oh no. And yeah, that's why even when I, you know. When I was making my money, man, back in the day, <laughs> I told them brothers, man, I used to have money. And I used to be show, not showing it, man, because I just hated everything that came with people knowing you have bread. Yeah. Women treat you differently. Right. Your right. family treat you differently or whatever. Man, I told I said, man, I could have been rolling around in some nasty whips. Yeah. In the city, bro. But what would it have brought, man? Especially among our people. Yeah. Hatred, envy, jealousy. All kinds of That's, stuff. Hey, man. man. You know what? Jake, Jake having money on this side is terrible. Bro. It's terrible, bro. Because, see, if you have money on this side and you are Edomite, you could get, you, no one's going to, the jealousy ain't going to really be there. Right, right. You know? The jealousy really ain't going to be there. Well, what are you looking at? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably open up the window on this side. Yeah. On the other side. But yeah, man, it's like it's not the best place, man. You're going to have a lot of haters. Yep. So, I mean, on this side, it's only worth it to you get this and you yep. can get the basic necessities. Uh-huh. So, most I will bless you sometimes. And yeah. You're allowed to, you know, sometimes get, you know, that's part of working is, is to enjoy what you work for. Right, right. But don't want, don't overdo it with wanting to have you know, yeah, everything yeah. out here. Yeah. It's a never-ending story. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you, you'll get, you'll get, a, you'll get the, uh, you get some some sort of possession, then you want more. You like, okay, this is already good enough. Then you want to upgrade. Oh man, I want to get the next one. You know, you just keep on. It's a never-ending yeah, climb. Have the bread for it. And don't even have the bread for it, bro. It's, it's a never-ending climb, man, of, of of Esau's kingdom, bro. Yep. And he's over there just dangling coins in front of you. Look, look at these jokers. He up there puppet mastering you, yeah, man. Dog, this whole thing is all about consumerism. Right, right. So what they always want you to do is you got to get the next new. State. Yeah, because how many iPhones you need, man? Yeah, you know they're losing their mind over there because they can't give no, they give no Christmas presents. Oh, man. Losing their mind. It's just, uh, you know, going into debt to, to please them. Yep. It ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it at all, man. This right here is what is uh, worth it. This is what, this is what you should be desiring. It's Luke chapter 2 and verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And mm. the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And the consolation of Israel is Yahweh Shad, man. Yep. And he was revealed to him that before he would die, he would see the Messiah, man. That's what he was looking for. He wasn't looking for, man, I'm looking for the, I'm looking to get a big old, a big old uh, castle. No nah, man, he was he was looking for the consolation of Israel, man. He was looking for what was gonna be what was gonna be the most important thing that we were ever gonna get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was Yahweh Shah, man. That was a uh -huh. gift that the most I gave to us. Yeah. That's only, right. One and only begotten son. To yeah. Die for the for the for the sins of, of our nation. Yeah. And that we may have an opportunity at, at everlasting life, man. Yep. Because man, you know. This ain't living over here, bro. It ain't. This is not living over here. This isn't that, man. You look up and down these streets, man. 
and you see all these other nations prospering, and you, you see Jake, man, Jake is downtrodden, man. Even those Jakes that are so-called doing it, man, them dudes ain't happy, bro. They got all the material possessions, but they are tormented in their minds, yeah, man. Yeah, because everybody pocket watching, man. Yeah. Jake, when Jake make money, everybody knows where the money came from. Yep. That's you right. You can go and pocket watch LeBron James right now. Yep. Pull up all his contracts, his deal he got with McDonald's. Pull up his Nike deal. Pull up his Beast by Dre deal. Right. Pull up his contract with the, with right. the, with the Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. With other with other people, they just ain't got to do that because they're, they're getting paid on their own. Man. Our people are in captivity. They gotta, they gotta, that's why there's a mechanism for control. He can't come out and speak about, hey, he can't go on TV and be like, hey, I'll praise it to, to my to uh, my Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai for you know giving me the strength to drop 60 points or for us to, you know, yeah, he can't he, do that. Yeah. He out of there. He, in he, fact, it's on they they still got live live TV on an eight seconds delay for that reason. Right. Look at that. Right? right. Yep. Because just in case they say something that they don't want want the masses to hear, they can block it off yep. and you don't even hear it. That's what's so cold, bro. That's what's so cold. See, they got that technology so so mm -hmm. so controlled now. Now the people over there may right there at the time are here, but man, you sitting in your I ain't hear that. Yep. What are you talking about? They I ain't hear that. Like the audio, the audio would just go out funny. Yeah. It'll just go silent. All you see is mouth moving, then it go back. He talking to Rose Golden Rose again. <laughs> yeah. You know? You know what I'm saying she like still on that mic. Yeah, this is uh John 3 and 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of the Most High abideth on him. So all them people that don't, that don't believe in the words of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, don't believe on the Son, hey man, they out of here, bro. The riches of the world that got these cats caught up, they out of here, bro. Unless they come back to this. Or come to this. Better come through the, through the right door, man. Through, yep. And also, that's what's kind of... And the tough part about this is that a lot of people, they push this Israel thing, they have zeal, they know that we stuff while we're in the condition we're in. But then it's like, there's just like this wall, there's just this barrier. Right. Just the gospel not being able to reach these people, they don't want to hear it. The most I put a force field on them. Right, right. It's just like, it's, gotta, it's just like, just see it, man. Yeah. I don't want to be in that position where I'm labored. Yeah. Push all this stuff only to not get, man. Not to get, yeah. Not get delivered. Yeah, yeah, man. Cause Better off being like Jay Z, man. Jay Z done threw a, a Rock Nation uh, brunch. He out there looking like Frank Lucas. Right. And right. all these celebrities there. Yeah. At the brunch, he out there looking like American gangster, man. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Because you know, I. He's living it up, man. Yeah. He's smarter than he's smarter than a lot of you janks if you don't if you don't even receive you know the gospel the right way, man. Right. Mm hmm. Because you just be a regular Jake. And destruction they hit you anyway, you know what yep. I mean? You know? He 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 looking at it like this. Well at least I done won on this side. Yep. You know, that's how he looking at it, you know. But who would want to be a partaker of what's to come that's not the kingdom though, man? Yep. That's that's that because he can't take none of it with him. Can't take yep. none of it with him, man. You, you know, it's it's a terror. A terror to fall into the hands of the most high, man. To be ruled by uh by Satan. Or Satan's uh Satan's children, man. Yep. That don't make sense. But it does make sense to them to win in this current world, man. Yep. That's right. They got you guys gotta be handled all the time, man. That's why that's why look man, by now, Beyonce shouldn't even be making she shouldn't be making music no more. She should be living off of royalties. Right, right. Why is she still busting her why? Up? Because she got handlers that making the cut. And they like, listen, B, you gotta go do another album, do yep. another tour. Yep. Uh huh. They're gonna keep running her out there, man, until she is old as Tina Turner. Yep, and they they use you, man, and throw you out. Look at that dude, Dylan, man. Even though he's a, you know, so Bob called. Dylan? Yeah, Bob Dylan, man. Yeah, you Bob know? Dylan did the same thing. That dude did the same thing, man. That dude is, man. That dude got about, look like he got about two, three more years left, man, and he gonna drop. This dude done worked all that time, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, he made a deal. Yep. You know, and, and he got him back. Yep, and he and he <laughs> said he, he had to keep that deal, so. Yeah. You know, Faust and Russell Simmons got all them, them uh, charges coming out the woodworks against that man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, all those, uh, see, man, that, that's the thing with Esau, look man. At Bill Cosby. That's why I see how Jake's understand. None of these Jakes, unless they die of sudden death, 
car accident or illness, man, none of them, really, to be honest, even if they do, they never, that money never goes to the next generation. It, do, it doesn't. I tell, I, I'll tell you, go and do your research. Yeah, yeah. None of them jakes that's rich, that got money, does that money go to the, the by the time they get their grandkids around, that money finish. Yeah, yeah. So Esau gonna take it with death tax, he gonna say, oh, you owe me this, then they gonna go through, oh, you owe what, they're gonna start suing them. Right. And they gonna be saying, oh, we gotta pick. All your royalties. Yeah. And see, and see. All your Red, best, you see how these how these ultra uh, rich how they operate? They don't operate like like rich like regular rich people or like regular Jakes. They put all their stuff in trust, man. And they would always have this little saying: Con uh, "Own nothing but control everything." That's the rich people saying, man. They put all their stuff in trust in different things and stuff like well, we, that. We can't we can't even hide our stuff anywhere. We we don't put in their trust. The the thief is still breaking his seal. Yeah, yeah. No, wait, that, no, that's what I'm saying. That's how. No, no, yeah, that's how Esau operates, man. He's see, still breaking the seal. Don't matter. Mm -hmm. He can't hide his, your money because first of all, the money you got has his face on it, man. Right, right, right. Whose image right. and superscription is this? <laughs> yeah, render unto <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why he's gonna get it back. Any money that Jake got is borrowed money. It's borrowed money, that's man. That's all it is. They're gonna take it out through legal fees, through through their lawyers, yep. through their corporation to get it back anyway. They gonna find worth a billion dollars, man. He ain't got no money. Them kids that ain't even his, man. Who is that? Who is that? Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, yeah. Worth a billion dollars. He passed away. Them kids ain't even his, man. Y'all smell that? Come through here. Man, something smell good. Yeah, yeah. It's that's how boom shines. Boy. We were about to go there that other night, but hey, man, we might have to stop somewhere, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, you cannot carry anything with you. you, know, you, you it, it, there's no inheritance for your children, man. Yeah, no that, inheritance for your children on this side, man. Oh yeah, over here, hey, man. I think I brought this up. Uh, I brought this up last. Man, I think it was last week. I was talking about that movie Jupiter Ascending where they're talking about that sister mm -hmm. she was trying she was supposed to get that inheritance and and the, the kids were not wanting her to get that inheritance man this is how your enemy is looking at you man he sees that you're gonna get this inheritance and but he don't want you to get it because that means he got to go down man and he ain't going that's why when it states in the scripture that that uh he he will have no mercy uh uh, how does it go out? Uh, uh, talking about when when he comes down, mowing us down. Uh, I can't remember how the how the verse go, how the scripture goes now. What would he say? When he ta he will be as a madman sparing none. There it is. Yeah. He shall be as a madman sparing none. Cause see, as this man start to see this this, this thing go down, man. Yeah. He gonna knock Jake out. He gonna be like, you know what? All bo all hoes, you know. Hey, it's freelance. Everybody, yeah. go in on it. You know, it's just gonna be open season, bro. He says it's dope. You take up the wise and their own craftiness, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They cannot, cannot do their own, uh, their, their enterprise. When you really. Because as they're doing all these meetings, it's gonna, as they try to get to culminate their new world order, mm -hmm. they're gonna realize they're gonna be having problems, man. Right, right. It's gonna be like, damn, we right at the end, but stuff just ain't coming together the way we want it to. Uh huh. And they gonna come, they gonna, you know. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna they, get mad, man. They gonna take the cuffs off, man. This mm -hmm. is gonna be on, bro. Yeah. You know, hey, look, look at, look at the things that they're acknowledging even today. You got the House Resolution 1242 that passed yeah. out. You know, up there, and they basically acknowledging uh, the slavery of 400 years of, of us. They never acknowledged that we Israel inside that resolution, but they put in there African Americans 400 years, and then they put in there 1619 of whatever date or whatever. And when does it expire? I 2020, July 1st, I think 2020. Look at that, it's man. It terminated. It terminated. So what is that? You know? And you see Jake's up here, up here, uh, talking about, oh, look, look, we making progress. Man, look here, man. The scriptures say, never trust thine enemy, man. You looking at a resolution that came from a government entity? That's not your friend, Jake. That's not your friend, Jake. Yeah, there is no reparation, man. That thing was not a resolution to say, on the 400th year, we're gonna give him reparation. Right, bro. So Jake getting all excited, man. They getting all they excited. They wrote that as a magic hidden in plain sight. Right, exactly. We know, we know that time is coming to an end, and we got plans to end you. Right. right. That's what that bill was really about. That's what that bill is about. It's going to end. Yeah, because they, they pay attention to the signs. We, in fact, they got a super blood blue moon coming up on the 31st. Uh -huh. They didn't have about four or five blood moons in the last like two or three years. 
Mm. That's ridiculous, bro. When you look at that, to have that many consecutive in history, back to back to back in a short period of time, it's not natural. It's not natural, man. It's not natural, bro, and they know it. That's why they, they're going into that stuff. The solar, full solar eclipses. Right. I bro. mean, bro, they had full solar eclipses. On, on the, of, uh, on the uh, tabernacles. Yeah. You're like, come on, man. Yeah, and all their flood moons that they had all were falling uh, on high holy days. Come bro. on, man. A There's sign of things to come, come, man. When you go back in 2015 is when I think it started. And literally, it'd be like, damn, Passover coming, here's another one. Yeah. And right when it's a Passover, another one, Feast of Boots, another one, it, bro, it don't make no sense. It bro. don't make no sense, man. It's all, it's all. They know, man. They know. <laughs> they, 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 they know, they're bro. Star, they're astrologers, they're stargazers, they're monthly prognosticators, they're selling them. Uh -huh. Look, this is what they're telling us. They talking to them, what's it called? Look, the children of Israel are gonna rise up and they're gonna Boom. Look, let's put this bill. They know what they're doing, man. Yeah. Herod was even consulting about the about what was going on. Yeah, he had those those prognosticators doing those times. Jesus right? was doing that, man. They always doing that stuff. They knew. That's why they started targeting the, the first male uh the male sons. Yeah. During the time of Moses, man. Because they knew they probably had more privy knowing how Knowing based on how it was with uh, Herod, they knew that somebody was have to rise up and be a deliverer. Right, right. So they so that's why Pharaoh's like, oh, kill the kill the boys, because you know they probably got that message on the left hand side. Hey man, one of these sons is going to be born. Yeah, they're going to raise up and deliver. Right. You know, that, and they said, look, start killing them. That's right, man. Shoot, uh, here here it is. This is a. Uh, it says, this is uh, Isaiah 47 and 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be a stubble the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Come on, man. They got all these people doing this and stuff, but you can keep on looking at them, <laughs> looking into yep. that stuff. They ain't gonna be able to save themselves from that flame, bro. That flame gonna touch them. Yeah, the whole side gonna, is gonna get out of them. Yeah. Because, uh, this is, I'm gonna get, this is Job chapter 20. In verse 18, that which he labored for shall he restore, and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein, because he hath oppressed and hath taken forsaken the poor, because he had violently taken away an house which he buildeth not. Mm. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly, he shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall be upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Man, look at that, man. That's that links up, you can go to uh, J James chapter 5 and verse 2 on that one. Yeah, yeah James 5 and the, 2. It says every hand of the wicked is talking about the laborers. Yep. When you look at that word, it's not talking about the wicked of Esau. Yeah. Or, you know, it's talking about the laborers, those that he was oppressing, mm -hmm. above reading in context. So Dang. they're going to be, the, the, the Osai going to raise up yep. a certain group of men. Yep. And yep. they're going to put the freaking hammer on them, man. They're going to put that it's hammer. It's going to be the beatdown of, of forever, bro. That's going to be the greatest beatdown, period. That stuff might even be on TV in other countries. Real, you know what I'm saying? Yep, that's that right. That stuff might be on satellite dish like, damn! Man. Them people going to be coming. That's why it tells you, man, they shall come into chains with chains on their neck, man. Woo. They going to put the chains on their own neck, like. Man, look, hey. You know? Because, man, who know, hey. <laughs> we don't even know what the most I going to do, man. We can just come up in our mind, like, man. Give me some superpowers, man. I, hey, man. Bro, I, I want to be able to just 
I just want to fly over these buildings and just scan that joker and just be like, Yo, what's up? There's one over there. How are y'all over there? Yeah. <laughs> we just... Hey, man. brother, stuff's going to be terrible, huh? Man. Stuff's going to be terrible, man. The stuff is going to be terrible. Man. The stuff is gonna be terrible. It's gonna... Tell you, man. Hey, bro. Hey, man. And see, Esau knows this stuff, man. Uh, through all his movies, he's making these exo exoskeleton uh, 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 shows like uh, what's the name? Avatar. Man, he understands. And then they was up there talking about the DNA. They was like certain aspect. Look, what's that movie? Uh, that show that used to come on, Heroes. When yeah. the sun eclipsed and everything, and then they transformed everybody, and then they had all these abilities, man. He saw me putting these movies on for a reason, man. He he be telling you what's going gonna happen, man. You know he he didn't read that, man. He got all kind of books over there. Mm -hmm. You know that we don't have, we not privileged to have, man. He probably live right. reading in that and saying, hey man, look, we only have this much time left. Mm -hmm. We need to hurry up, build this stuff, get this stuff in place. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Imagine, imagine he saw trying to come to the table all of a sudden because stuff happened, man. Oh, oh, we'll give you reparations. Yeah, no, we don't want it. Because right, this man, what? It's too late, man. It's kind, it's kind of like it's kind of like <laughs> Yahweh Shai up here dealing with with Satan. Yeah, I give you all this. Yeah, you like, bruh, no. That's already man, Yahweh is about to give us some superpowers, man. Yeah, right. your money ain't gonna mean nothing to me. Yeah, because if I could. And it said that the saints of the most is gonna take the kingdom. They gonna take. That means by force when you go yeah. into that. Yeah, they gonna just stretch. They gonna straight take it. They gonna do both. Hand it over. The most high gonna set it up. Yeah. To where the black <laughs> men is gonna literally take it from all these nations on earth. Literally go to battle across the and, earth and just subdue them. And then when you look at that, <laughs> when you look at that, right. the whole it, planet ought about to be subdued by yeah, the black men. But it, by that, that, and, 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 and you know what, man, a hundred and forty-four thousand, bro. And you talking about the whole planet? Come on, man. <laughs> That's some serious stuff right there, man. Yeah. That's some serious stuff. If you're talking about 144,000 men coming out here and just wrecking shop and be like, it's mine. It's mine. Yep. They straight deboing, bro. Straight deboing, man. Man, and you know what the other nations yep. gonna do? They gonna get in line, bro. Yep. They ain't gonna have it no choice. Kelsey, man, it says the the Kush don't come to you, man. Yeah. With the chains on their neck already, right? <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to come with the chains on their neck and say, Surely, the, the, the Yahweh's in thee. Oh. <laughs> it tells you on another one that they're going to come down and they're going to lick the dust off your your, the, your feet. <laughs> and, and it ain't talking about right now. Yeah. It ain't talking about because yeah. like, you to see some stuff on there where with Jake. Jake up there doing that, bro. You got to kiss my boot. Hey, Jake, that person kissed your boot. You had to go to bed and wake up and go right back to Esau the next day. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Some of them freaky like that. They into that bondage stuff, man. So you ain't even doing nothing to them that they ain't even really like anyway. You oh, know what I'm man. You know? Man, yeah. that's crazy, man. So, yeah, so Satan, boy. That boy hurting, man. I'm telling you. That boy hurting. <laughs> that boy, boy hurt. He's hurting. A boy's hurting, man. Yeah. He tried We're to only trying to give man. the gospel. We're preaching the gospel. We're Christians. <laughs> That's the Holy Bible. We're preaching. That's right. How can you be? How can you hate Jesus? <laughs> See, they know. He man, feel man. It, man. Hey, hey, he, hey, man. Esau was messing with his own, bro. <laughs> Golly. Hey, boy. Hey. hey, man. They know the vibration is different, bro. Boy. They know. It ain't no uh, Ebenezer, Ebenezer Baptist Schools Church right. in Atlanta, Georgia, with Reverend Martin Luther King preaching. Hand, you know. Yeah, hand joining hand. Everybody hand together, let's peace and love with everybody. No, it ain't. It ain't about and with, that. With Jake is Jake has to uphold. Mm -hmm. Jake is the standard bearer of non-violence, of full acceptance of everybody. He saw the program due to that. Uh huh. Because right? in the in the in the stratification of Edomite supremacy, you have to be the believer. Right. You have to be the exemplifier. No, we don't, we don't smoke. We have, have to be the um, the beacon of Christianity. We got to forgive our enemies. Meanwhile, in, uh, for Edomites within that stratification of Christianity, he ain't got to forgive nobody. Uh-uh, no. Nah, he ain't got to forgive nobody. In fact, 
he just comes in and debos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why you say forgive, forgive, forgive? Yeah. He come in. He, he keeping you in that in that little box. Yeah. While he 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 uh exudes his supremacy over you, and, man. And that's part of Edomite Christianity, is that you have to have at the top them to to basically bring down the pain on everybody else, and everybody else submits to his will. Yeah. But y'all all y'all all, all believe in the same religion. Right. That our people are in the are in the lower stratification that believes that they should forgive him. Yeah. Right. While he's in the area where he can punish you and do what he wants and then you forgive. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so that's exactly how they roll. Yeah. And this thing is completely different. Yeah. And that's why the most high has to do has to flip everything around. That's the reason why there's the the gospel resonates to those that truly believe in it because the, an element of the gospel is retribution, it's revenge. Right? Yeah, yeah, there it that, is. That, I like that. Uh huh. I, hey, me too, bro. I like that because uh -huh. if that wasn't in there, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't believe it. Uh huh. Because I can't believe in. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It, I, that's why I didn't like Christianity because I'm like this stuff don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. You get your ass kicked. You yeah. Put a weak essence of submission and gave Christianity to you, and you just accepted it wholeheartedly. And he said. You see what it did this stuff to you? I'm like, I can't, I can't job for this. Yeah, hey, bro, that was like right, right after I got out of, because it was kind of like a mandatory thing that we had to hit that church every Sunday. But man, you know, white men, when men get older, men are, they deuce out the church. Jake they men. do, yeah. We just by we the time do. they get out of the house they grew up in, they stop going. Yeah, that's they deuce out of it. Mm -hmm. and when they get back in, is when the when they when what? They got a wife. 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 Yep. When they get a wife and kids, and they woman drag them back in. Right, right, right. But when they single. They do say like, man, that's a bullshit. He's that's saying. the first thing they say. Uh -huh. I, I ain't going to no church. I'm watching slut. I'm watching football. Uh -huh. I'd they rather watch some football and go listen to them lies and give that money to that lying pastor. Yeah, hey, he'll take, he'll take that time money and put it on the game. <laughs> yep. That's how Jay, that's what Jake okay. doing. See, the average Jake man ain't really that stupid. Bro. Yeah, not, bro. The Jake man ain't stupid, bro. He know yeah. ain't. He know it ain't ain't right, man. He know yeah. it ain't right. That's he, why the Jake man could jump in. That's why he liked this, man. We say mm -hmm. retribution, what happened to us. Right. What oh, damn, okay. So we're in this yeah. position because we went off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got to ask for forgiveness. But oh. then if I keep on it and wait to the end, I could be one of those men that put vengeance on these people. Oh, I'm down with that. Uh-huh. Right. And remember, man, <laughs> hey, keep them prayers, right. brothers and sisters. Keep them prayers. Pray for that deliverance, man. Be out of here. So we hey. probably go ahead and wrap it up. Yep. Yeah, change, change up the change up what you what your prayers are, man. Pray for that deliverance out of this place, cause we want a speedy delivery. Hey, boy, that that boy over there hurting, boy. Yeah, that boy was hurting. That boy say nothing. Kept walking, had to say something. Uh. -huh. And then, hey, and then almost hit hit the dude uh, dog over there, bro. Yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 6. Now when Yahweh Shai was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman with having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when the disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold, might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh Shai understood it, he said unto them, why trouble ye the woman? For she has wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she has poured this ointment on my body and did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman has done be told for a memorial of her. That, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Shah. Peace and blessings to you, brothers and sisters, throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom.